On Wednesday, the police service revealed no charges could be laid against a patient and a doctor at the heart of a controversy involving the surgical removal of cocaine pellets from the patient's stomach, at least not yet. It prompted a scathing response from the Attorney General, who felt the failure to prosecute someone set a dangerous precedent for this country. But Acting Commissioner of Police Stephen Williams is assuring this is not the end of the investigation. In a brief telephone interview with CNC3, he said the inquiry is continuing, but he made it clear it was not on the basis of the Attorney General's request, but because the police service had never stopped investigating the matter. The case raises an important issue about when a doctor should breach a patient's confidentiality. On the medical board's website, it lists whistleblowing as one of the responsibilities of the profession and states that where there is a suspicion that criminal activity has taken place, and in particular in cases of alleged sexual assault, a police report must be made. The General Medical Council of the United Kingdom has similar provisions. It says confidentiality is an important duty, but it is not absolute, and the doctor can disclose personal information if it is required by law or is justified in the public interest. But what qualifies as public interest? According to the Council, there is public interest in disclosing information to protect individuals or society from risks of serious harm, such as serious communicable diseases or serious crimes. It also advises that doctors should seek a patient's consent unless it is not practicable to do so, for example, where it would likely undermine the purpose of the disclosure, which could be prejudicing the prevention or detection of serious crime. CNC3 contacted Health Minister Dr. Fuad Khan on the issue today. He told us that he has confidence in the police and the commissioner and the way in which they handle their investigations. He says they are experts. He is not.